Hey guys, welcome up, welcome, welcome back. Um, so today, uh, first day, first day of bailage. Um, so got this feeder put together. Uh, okay, it's not done. Um, I just whack these uh, one by fours on, just to make it work. Um, there will be something going across, um, but, uh, so that's just tentatively done. I should feed these guys hay, though, too, um, but overall, they're liking it. Um, I'm not sure how much lighting we're going to have around here. It's a little dark in this barn some point I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do when this barn falls over but uh, yeah so you guys seem pretty happy they're not going after it quite as sometimes the first bale they're a little picky um, but so what we do with this stuff I bring the bale up usually out here we got kind of a cement pad here works pretty good um, and yeah we just kind of set it here and then some I take with the Werberl into there some will scoop up and dump in front of the calf barn I'll probably go show that as well um, this stuff is beautiful uh, here we got a little bit more fermentation Um, it's kind of, uh, kind of a mixture here. Here's some greener stuff. Depends on what the moisture was in that particular spot. But overall, this stuff is beautiful. Um, it's just, it really is. It's really nice. Um, it smells amazing. It smells more like baleage. Last year... Um, a little bit of mold it looks like, but not too terribly much. This was, uh, I set two bales aside, three, actually three, one bale of bean straw, one bale that was kind of split, uh, straw and cover crop, and then the third bale, which actually it had a, some mold on, but overall the bale looked pretty nice so I might end up feeding that to the cows so I guess you guys can't see much of nothing I don't think I can yeah it's basically just on the floor here in front of me um, just a wheelbarrow I dump a wheelbarrow full for each pen and tomorrow we'll come in and I'll scrape it up planning on making a winter feeding winter feeding video um, I had to do some rearranging down here, but, uh, so, yeah, so it's, yeah, first day of, uh, first day of bailage for the year, um, and as you can see, that feeder is going to be really nice. I got to cut these off, this end, I wanted to... I was hoping these would be long enough to go across, but they're just a few inches short. Um, so I'll see what I want to do with them. Um, and then I don't know if I'm going to close up the box. That actually might be what these end up going for. So I'll walk over to the calf barn now. Um, yeah, really happy. I really love feeding the stuff. Uh, we got about, I want to say 65 bales. I think I wrapped about 70 or 69, 69 or 70, I believe it was. So here, here's where we kind of dumped this stuff. Um, I would like to get some, possibly a little cement slab here just because. 
Um, actually, I was kind of thinking over there, somewhere where we could actually scoop stuff up. Because what I'll do actually, um, I don't know how well the lighting will be in here. Actually, we can open the door up. Um, tomorrow morning when I feed, I will take the shovel and we'll scrape this, whatever is left, all to one side. All, I usually scrape it that way to that side and then I'll feed in the remaining area. And over here too, I will uh, scrape this from this side. I'll scrape it over there. And then, uh, I believe I did an every other day kind of thing. I, I, uh, I fed a, I figured a bale every other day. And uh, before I dump a new stuff from a new bale in, I will clean out, clean out the mangers. And all the leftovers will go to the beef cows. Um, I just dump it in there and they eat it right up. Uh, I really wish I had more, more baleage to, uh, to feed to them. Um, but that's a process I'm working on right now. I'm kind of trying to figure out what the best route is uh, to do that. Um, I'm kind of thinking like a, a winter rye. Um, the problem with that is whatever you put on afterwards is going to be in, um, is going to get put in later. Uh, but you're going to get feed out of it, hopefully anyways. Um, the other thing I was looking at was... Um, if I wanted to do something different, put something on, uh, what we'll do is we'll combine the wheat off. If I was going to put something different on um, instead of the barley and peas, I, I'm really happy with this stuff. It, um, I guess the reason I do barley and, uh, in replace, in, in, play, in instead of oats, um, Last year I did barley and peas. I was really happy with it. And uh, we kind of realized that the barley doesn't get that rust in it like the oats does. And it really ain't, it really isn't that big of a deal. But um, And I, I felt like this got thicker as well. But uh, yeah, so that's what we do here. Uh, I'll go back. I want to talk about the baler now. All right, so I'm going to run back here. It is getting dark. I hope it's not too dark. I was going to grab my light and I forgot. Um, but uh, I went to clean out this, this other baler the other day. And uh, the bean straw that was in the chamber that was baled high moisture not it was I knew it wasn't gonna be great I did it anyways frozen solid um, uh, it's gonna get kind of dark in here unfortunately um, shit I should have brought my light oops I swore don't repeat that kids yeah, it's dark. Dang it. Um, this stuff, I don't know if you can hear it. It is solid as a rock. Um, so, what I did, actually, I got a bale of wheat straw. A bale of wheat straw. And I pitched it through the baler one slab at a time. I left the pressure off on the back. We pushed that stuff right out. And in theory, I haven't looked at it yet, that wheat straw in the chamber should be fairly loose. Um, that's my hope anyways. I mean, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, I can tell you what though, it's going to be a lot better than pulling that bean straw out. Um, 
I still need to winterize the applicator, uh, which will get done. Um, it. I haven't heard anything on the other baler, and uh, by the end of the, today's. Let's see. Christmas is in the middle middle of next week. I'm kind of hoping they don't get it back here before before the new year. That kind of sounds weird because normally you want your equipment back right away. Um, the other thing is I don't want to pay the bill right now, so. <laughs> uh, but that'll have to get done sooner than later. I got to get the, the acid, the applicator done. Uh, try and maybe clean it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, I also want to look at the knotters. I was having issues with the knotters. Uh, they weren't tying. And actually I was having kind of the same issue with the other baler. And apparently when they ran it, everything worked. When they... They just, uh, I think they just took the strings from the chamber and they pulled them back and they tripped the knotters and apparently it worked. So my concern is um, that I'm going to get them back, there's nothing wrong with them, and then I start to bail and then all of a sudden we got the same problem and nobody knows what's going on. The other thing, um, these balers, unfortunately, have sat outside um, a good portion of the year, also oh, like okay, summer. Um, unfortunately, I get my goats back here. This shed is, uh, say, two thirds full of goats, and uh, then I can't get the balers in. And uh, it is what it is. I mean, they got to sit outside then. But we'll just build on, I guess. So thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more updates on the baleage. I will be doing a winter feeding video where I, um, kind of similar to my summer feeding video I'm just going to explain everything that I have to do um, I'm going to try and do kind of a uh, morning and night outlook kind of put it all together um, I do have more chores uh, during this part of the year I do more more at night um, so yeah so I will be doing that uh, we'll be doing some corn this week. The price has gone up for corn. The price went up 20 cents today. Um, thanks to, uh, uh, Trump and the trade deal. Hopefully that all goes through. Um, I know somebody predicted corn would po possibly hit seven, eight dollars again. That would just be... I, I honestly I take five dollars <laughs> I, I take four at this point just to you know we don't have to get too carried away but hopefully that continues to fall into place so thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, like comment subscribe and I hope to see you next time <laughs>